Hi YouTube. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk a little bit about um, problems that you have in a wall as you pull up from, from the bottom there. Uh, I took some notes last class on what I saw happening to my beginners. Um, if you have other issues, you know, put them in the comment section and I'll try to answer them. Um, or, you know, I'll make another video. So, one of the major things I see is people making it too thin. Um, that's, that's number one. And that comes from you know, squeezing the clay usually at the bottom and not moving. Unfortunately, if I want to keep showing demos on this piece, um, I'll try to do that one last. The uh, other one is being wrinkled. So I'm going to do just the top. I'm going to wrinkle the top. And wrinkling happens for a few reasons. Most often, it's that you do have a thin spot. So if we make a thin spot here, <laughs> and we put a little pressure above it, that little bit of pressure can start to cause that to wrinkle. Now, a wrinkle is fixable. It's not something that's, uh, that's gonna kill a pot. To fix it, you wanna kinda throw through it, try to get to a similar thickness, and then you need to compress it. It's wrinkling because it's kinda given up its strength. So if you compress it, you can go back and then shape it. So it's not a lost cause. Let's cut this one off. So if, say, the top is messed up, that's fixable too. Um, one, you need to remove it. Now if you've got a lot of clay to remove, I would suggest using your needle tool and going below it to a part that's clean again. You want to point that needle tool towards noon, but you want to be at the 3 o'clock point. So I'm not pointing it through the side. I'm using the side of the needle right at the point. I'm letting it slide through level. And when it touches my finger, I lift up. I do that again. Maybe a little bit more visible now. Put my finger on the inside so it's sliding against it. Push through until I touch my finger and lift up. It's not the needle tool isn't moving. A lot of a lot of my students get scared that, oh, but I'm gonna poke myself. But it's moving very slowly. You're not going to jam it in like that. You're just going slow until you touch, and you're even touching the side of your needle tool when you lift up. So that's to remove it if the top is on level. Well, some things that can cause the top to be on level is that it wasn't centered in the beginning, or that you opened it up on, not in the, or you opened it up not in the middle. So that that isn't something that you can usually fix in terms of when you're throwing the wall. It's something that you had to fix earlier on but you really shouldn't open up the piece or try to pull a wall if it's not centered or in the middle. Or if you are, you know it's going to be practiced and you don't have to worry so much about, you know, trying to save it and make it pretty. Um, one of the other issues is people leaving it thick at the bottom. So leaving it thick can be two reasons. One is that they, you don't really open and flatten out the bottom. If you flatten out the bottom of your piece as wide as your sponge or just a little bit more, you're going to be working with the clay that's in, a, in an area that's a lot easier to pull. If it's too narrow, it's hard to pull it well because of the scale of your finger to the diameter of the piece itself it doesn't like to work. And vice versa, if it's bigger than you know about a CD, it's harder to pull as well. The clay has a lot more time to go around and back up and, and get kind of wiggly. So if you have it about the size of a CD, maybe a little bit smaller, you're, you're in the safe zone of being able to pull it a little bit thinner. You're gonna start by squeezing at the bottom and pushing that clay into the inside hand. If you don't push that clay into the inside hand, what you're doing is you're just pulling out the outside edge. What you want is both the inside and outside to be pulling up. And that'll start to reduce your thickness. Also, when you pull, you want to release the pressure as you get to the top. So that you're putting the most amount of force at the bottom where the pieces are usually thickest. If you squeeze the same as you go through, the top will get thin and unworkable and the bottom will still be thick. We'll do it one more time. Get that bottom thinned out. There we go. So that'll help you make thinner pieces. Now, the the other issue that's you know that runs parallel to that is pieces being too thin. 
and that usually happens from uneven pulls. So if you can look, and I stop the wheel here, you can see that there are lines on the place or on the piece there that are about even, and they're they're light. They're not really thick lines, so that they they're even pull. If you pull too quickly or you put too much pressure at the bottom, there'll be a really deep, thick push, and that will cause a thin spot that actually is a spiral up through your piece. And later on, as you pull again, it's going to continue to be pulled, and it'll rip off at the bottom. That usually happens about you know day number two with beginners when they start to get to form walls and they get really excited about making them bigger. So we'll do that here, so we can see it. Now there is not a real good fix for making it too thin at the bottom. And you see that it's starting to to torque down there. One of the ways to save a piece after you start to get that is to kind of cone up or not cone up, uh, collar in the top up here so that you apply less torque to the stuff below. Go back and try to thicken this by collaring in. Does it always save it? No. But you might be able to get a piece out of it. One more time. And then I would go on like it's not there. As long as it hasn't ripped off, you might be able to save it as a piece. So just like the top, if it gets thin, you want to compress it and strengthen it up. And you can see that it doesn't, doesn't quite want to do what I'm asking it to do. You get the idea. It's a lot better to be able to practice that kind of stuff than, than, um, than not. And those are the, the majority of the issues that I see when trying to pull a, a regular cylinder. Next, next uh, video will be issues removing the pieces and the, uh, the common ways people, people attempt to do that.